right? You know what? I would love to do that. We're going to start with Matthew 28, 20. Matthew 28, 20. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Matthew 28, 20. I love that. Now, this part right here is going to be a part where we put our hands up like this. Okay. But we're actually going to be doing it because that's what we need. Okay. So, it goes like this. No matter what, no matter what, Jesus' love for me will never change. No way, eh. He's always there, He's always there, taking care of me, and I believe Jesus, you and me are friends forever. We are, we are. I know, friends forever. We are, we are. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hmm. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin, the mailman. I just finished a long walk delivering mail, and now I'm really hungry. It's almost my lunchtime. Hmm. What should I have for lunch today? Should I have spaghetti and meatballs? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peas and carrots? Oh, maybe I should have some fish. Did you know some people eat fish for breakfast? That reminds me of today's true story from the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today, we're going to talk about what happened after Easter. Easter started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? 
No! Jesus came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Soon after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing. All of a sudden, they saw Jesus standing on the beach. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. Yes, good job. Jesus cooked fish and told his friends to come and have breakfast with him right there on the beach. They were so happy to be with their good friend Jesus again. They knew that Jesus loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And there's more good news. Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever too, forever and ever. That is so awesome. Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye.